If the title wasn't enough to get you to stop watching this video, I guess that's good for me at least. But uh, I want to buckle up because you are in for a ride of a lifetime. We begin this adventure somewhere new and exciting. Somewhere where uh, you've never been before. Somewhere wonderful, a place that tempts every one of us. No, not a strip club, actually. Oh, though my, uh, my underwear were involved. Yes, we start off with me getting comfy cozy in uh, my little bed and snuggling up and going to sleep. Already this story is perfect, but uh, let me tell you, it certainly got really weird after I shut my little peepers. Delve into Ryan's dreamland, which has conjured up some of the most bizarro imagery and stories that I could possibly tell, to be honest. So let's begin on that note. Transport yourself to uh, a beach, just a plain old beach with a dock and some seaweed and I don't know, what else do beaches have? Water. Right. I was sitting on the edge of the dock of this beach with dream people. They were essentially nameless people I was dreaming I was, you know, best friends with. Ah, the memories we shared. Hello, Hello. Hello. best friends. Everything was fine and good until suddenly one of my friends was drowning. Being a natural born swimmer and a hero, I jumped in to save them. I swam extraordinarily quickly and then dove down to rescue them. But as I surfaced with my friend, I could tell we were being chased by a monster. So I kicked it into overdrive, exactly, exactly like David Hasselhoff in that SpongeBob movie. And we made it back to the dock safely. But as I was sitting there, drawing off my dreamily sexy body, something surfaced and it was swimming right towards me. It was huge. It was gray. It was a manatee. It was big and mean and covered in rolls. And it was swimming right towards me. Normally people would see that and, you know, simply get up and walk away. I don't think manatees swim very fast. But I was paralyzed by manatee-induced fear. And, for some reason, spread my legs extra wide to catch the manatee, I guess? Which, I mean, I caught it. The bee swam right into my nether regions and nuzzled its snout right up in there. And when my dream self looked down, I was horrified naturally because the manatee was sucking my testicles right out of my swim shorts. Like literally right through them. I just remember it being like extremely uncomfortable and traumatizing. My balls were like huge, like usual. And they were like purple, I guess? And in a manatee's mouth? And in the dream I was, I must have been extremely flexible, I guess, because I bent my leg over the manatee and power kicked it straight into the water. And it swam away whimpering like a little baby. Afterward, my balls just sucked back up into my body and everyone at the pier cheered for me. Overall, if you look at the dream, you know, as a whole, it was really great, honestly. I mean, just look at the basic plot of the dream. Because I saved my friend, had huge balls, and defeated an evil manatee, I got a standing ovation from a crowd of people. What more could you ask for in a dream? Isn't that everyone's dream? If I were to psychologically analyze this dream, I'd have to say the lesson of the dream was the love of your friends is more important than any blowjob. Or maybe it just means I have weird dreams. I don't know. I don't know. If you stuck around this long, thanks. I've noticed that most people watch like 63% of my video and then turn it off and that's it, because I don't have a million likes or comments, so thanks for that, guys. But it, you know, it confuses me because my videos are 100% MLG Pro quality, and I, I just don't get how the math could be off. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't add up. Here's the part where I'm going to engage you and uh, ask that you give me a little something-something. If you've been watching all my other content, you've seen the, the vlogs, the dramatic reading that I did, 
And now these, this little dream log that I did. So what I gotta ask you guys is, right now in the comments section, down there with your keyboard, right now, please, 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 let me know what you think about the channel as a whole, about the dramatic reading idea, and any and all ideas you might have. I got open ears. And finally, on the topic of dreams, I'd be totally open to make videos based on your guys' dreams. Just as long as I have, you know, enough information about it, and, well, well, it can't, it can't suck. Please don't send me stories about dreams where you bought socks or something. I don't. But, you know, if they're good enough, or, you know, if you've got stories you want to tell me, I can write up a script, and you can hear me talk about it in my lovely little voice, and, you know, I can make fun of you and stuff. Cool, cool, right? Anyways, that's all for today. And as always, your stories are what you make them.